Hello, my name's Miss Gina, and welcome to my channel. The story of the day is Monk Camps Out. Story and pictures by Emily Arnold McCulley. Now let's get started. Monk Camps Out by Emily Arnold McCulley. Monk decided it was a perfect night for his first camp out. All by yourself? I'll be okay, Mom. He'll be back before we know it. First, Monk had to make a tent. I'll get this to work. We should help him. Absolutely not. They only helped a little. He doesn't want to eat with us. He's camping out. Camp Grub. What's for dinner? Of course, nobody answered. Dinner was quiet. The sun went down. Monk watched shadows creep. The kitchen light went out. The living room light went out. Who can sleep with all that quiet? <laughs> the door flew open. We have to give him a good night hug. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you want to come inside? I'm fine. I'm camping out. They were proud of Monk. He's very brave. We'll just have to stay up until he decides to come in. Later that night, Monk woke up. Where am I? Where's my mitt? Dad! <laughs> I've got to get my mitt. It's so dark. What time is it? Monk, he's still outside. So as you can see, Mom and Dad ran out the back door and Monk ran into the front door so they didn't see each other. Quiet as a mouse, they peeked inside. We'll just sleep out here and keep him company. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Where are you? Mom's chair was still warm. <sighs> Good morning. Where is everybody? He's gone. Are you sure? Monk! Mom! Dad! I camped out all night by myself. We're so glad you're home. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story of the day. Monk Camps Out by Emily Arnold McCulley. Here we see a great interpretation on what could happen when you give your children a little independence. Monk felt like a big mouse and his parents were very proud of him. But we really know what happened on his first camping trip. Thank you to all my friends, young and old, wherever you may live. Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more fun and lovely stories. And leave a comment down below. 
Don't forget to look out for next week's stories with Miss Skeena's bookshelves. Tell your friends. Goodbye.